reporting Josh Allen being evaluated for a UCL injury. Allen's right elbow injury leaves his status uncertain for the matchup against the Vikings this week. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio. Back to the NBA. Clarkson has it. Takes a tough three. Jordan's got 20. The Max Lowry is 20. The lead to Jazz. 120 to 104. 97-5 the zone. Jazz a 139-116 win over the Lakers, who fall to 2-8. and eight. Jazz, seventh game with at least 15 three-pointers on the season, most in the NBA. They're 9-3, and 5-0 and oh at home. If ESPN analyst Tim Legler had to pick the most surprising team in the NBA at this point. It has to be the Utah Jazz. I mean, when you take a look at what this franchise has gone through, imagine tr- getting rid of your franchise player, the face of the organization. Another guy who's been defensive player of the year multiple times and a perennial all-star in Rudy Gobert. Your third best player, Boyan Bogdanovich, not there anymore either. And yet you look up. And basically, you've gone with a lot of role players, and you find yourself second place in the Western Conference. And six of those wins have come against teams that made the postseason in the Western Conference a year ago. So that's a pretty remarkable start for Utah, and particularly when you look at the youngest head coach in the league uh, and a first-time head coach doing all of this. Now, is it sustainable? We'll find out. But I think out of the gate, they have to be the most pleasant surprise in the league. Jazz recording a season high in points with 139 and a 56% field goal percentage in the win over the Lakers. Pacers top the Pelicans 129-122. They hit 22 three-pointers, second most in franchise history. Miles Turner had 37 points, second most in his career. Tyrese Halliburton, 20 points, 13 assists. Sixers and Suns. Booker dominate on Paul Reed. Reed holds them off. Rebound melt. Sixers on the move to Niang. Three-point shot up. Got it. George Niang has got seven threes. Timeout Phoenix. And Niang bellowing to the crowd. Our score, the Sixers, 91. And the Phoenix Suns, 82. 97-5, the Fanatic. 188 Sixers top the Suns. Chris Paul, two points in 14 minutes for Phoenix. Joel Embiid had 33 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists for Philly in the win. Suns with their 88 point. Fewest points and largest loss in a game this season. Celtics stopped the Grizzlies, 109-106. Jason Tatum with 39. Jason Tatum's 29th career 35-point game. Knicks stopped the Timberwolves, 120-107. to Julius Randle had a season-high 31. Hawks go to 7-3 on the season with a 117-98 win over the Bucks. Trey Young did not play because of his ailing shin. 25 points for Giannis Tenekumbo in the loss for the Bucks. Straight ahead, who should walk away now on top? That's next. Sports Center All Night continues at ESPN Radio.